Glory be to the Father, Son, and to the Holy Spirit, one true God from ages and to ages of ages. Amen. Let's now learn and understand the holy articles that are used on the holy altar for worship. First of all, let's know what a matbaha is. The etymology of this word is traced to the Syriac word madabah, which means sacrifice. Therefore, Madbaha is a place which is called as the place of the Holy of the Holies, where the Holy Sacrifice to the Lord is done. Madbaha is usually separated with a curtain. When the curtain is moved, it represents the opening of the heaven. The Eastern Orthodox service is mystical in nature, as Christ mentioned to his disciple this as a mystery. First of all, we will briefly understand about the holy altar inside the madbaha there is the holy altar on which the body and blood of christ which are also called as holy mysteries are placed the holy altar must be properly and cleansly furnished for the last supper christ asked his disciples to prepare a room furnished it's written in mark 14 verse 15 He will show you a large room upstairs furnished and ready make preparations for us there so let's look on the preparations on the holy altar let's learn how we furnish the holy altar before the holy eucharist begins number 1 the chitola the cloth which is used to veil the holy altar is known as chitola and upon the surface a white cloth also will be furnished number 2 the wooden cross a wooden cross is must a thing upon the altar the wooden cross is removed only when it is placed upon the gogol to on the midday lent until the feast of ascension of the lord on the feast of ascension it will be placed back upon the altar to denote that The resurrected Jesus Christ is ascended into the heavens and sits at the right hand of the Father. Number 3, the 12 candles. Usually 12 candles are placed on the altar to denote the number of disciples. However, the number 12 is not must a thing. All the 12 candles are lighted as soon as the holy kubana is begun. and until then only one candle is lit nevertheless for worship we are not supposed to move the curtain without a lighted candle on the thronos and also the congregation is not expected to sit as soon as the thronos is seen to be or otherwise asked by the priest or the chief celebrant number 4 the tabelita the word tabelita is derived from the word tablet We know that we use the holy muron only for two services one the anointment of muron on baptism and two for the consecration of the church tablita is otherwise called as the moving altar upon which the holy mysteries are placed no priest is allowed to offer the holy service without a tablita number 5 the casa pilas are set this includes one the kasa which is a cup in which the wine is poured two the pilas the plate in which the bread for the holy eucharist is placed three the spoon which is used to draw up the wine from the kasa four the kaukbo which is also called as the star this is placed after the bread is placed in the pilas to avoid the bread to be touched by the cloth over it five the cup the cup is to keep the water for the priest to wash his hands after touching the holy mysteries The next is number 6 from the main session and that is virikuta This set is called virikuta which is placed upon the tabelita The virikut is a 
three layer colored decorated cloth with a set of holy articles which are necessary for the holy kubana those articles are number 1 the kablana the kablana is the veiling cloth for the kasa and the pilasa number 2 the shoshapo the shoshapo is the towel or the piece of cloth which is used for veiling the holy mysteries and number 3 the tumurto or the cushion for the priest to rub his hands after touching the holy mysteries therefore firstly the tablita is placed upon which the virikut is properly furnished and upon that the kasa and pilasa is placed on the order kasa on the eastern side and the pilasa on the west or kaza on the front and the pilasa on its back the priest will be using his right hand for holding the pilasa and the left hand for holding the kaza number 7 the bread or the amira we call the bread as amira the bread is a leavened one and is prepared by the sexton or the priest himself and is baked out of wheat the wheat is kneaded with leaven the day before itself and is baked just before the holy kubana number 7 a mixture of water and grape wine is used for the holy eucharist and that too in equal proportion number 8 the taksa taksa means order The holy worship is done in a specific order. There are different taksas in the text. Taksa of Mar Yakub, Mar Dionysius, Mar Peter, Mar Yohanan, Taksa of Sostos, Taksa of Holy Fathers, Taksa of Twelve Apostles, etc. The priest has the right to choose any taksa for the kubana according to his discretion. However, he is asked to use the taksa of Yakub only on certain occasions. Now, we have summarized almost all articles which are used on the holy altar for the holy Eucharist. May God bless all of us.